there are a couple of things you can do which is really cool. You can either enhance what's there if there's minimal amounts of texture by duplicating the high frequency layer and masking it in. And I'm going to show you that first. Then I'm going to show you how to do that if you have no texture. Okay? So, here we go. Um, I have my high frequency layer selected. I'm going to hit Command J. And then I'm going to add a mask. Invert. And then I will go and selectively start brushing in areas of the skin. So say that I want to brush in a little bit more over here. And I'll use a quicker flow just for demonstration purposes, not that I would do this usually. And so what happens is, let me zoom in here. You notice we didn't start with much texture along the side of her hair. But when you emphasize this by duplicating it and blending it in, you bring a lot more texture back in areas that seem to have very minimal amount of texture. So that's one way I go about doing that. And it works really well because it typically blends in nicely with the texture profile of the surrounding areas. Now, if you didn't have that option, I'll go ahead and delete. I am going to duplicate this high pass layer. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I made a mistake. I'm going to select a new blank layer on top of the high pass layer and see if I can essentially clone one area to another and apply just the texture. However, what you'd probably want to do is on this high pass layer, make sure it is selected first. Then I'm going to select my clone brush and then go over here to my sample size and say current layer only. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm only going to be sampling just that particular layer and moving it over to segments that I want to fill. So let me go and show you what all this means. Again, my high pass layer is selected, my clone brush is set to current layer, and my flow will vary. Um, typically in this sense, I will say keep it at 10%, something a little gentle but not too quick. I will sample an area of texture here and then start brushing in an area on the side. And what tends to happen is the texture profile will then switch to whatever it is that you're trying to fill in. So if there's a hotspot area or something or another where you want more texture there, you can sample an area of texture next to it and then essentially just continue brushing. And then what that does is enhances. As you can see, as I'm going back and forth, you can see it enhances what was already there based on the texture that's around it. And that's as close to natural as you could probably get. I would not recommend don don getting donor files from other skin types and applying that to new images because what happens is that you're getting different texture profiles from other people's face. If you want to see why that's weird, look at the person next to you, look at the other person on the other side and see how different their texture looks compared to yours or the other person. Everybody has a different texture pattern depending on what part of the face you're looking on as well as who you're looking at. And also to add to that, based on the lighting, it changes as well. And the camera and the lens. So essentially what I'm trying to say is please stop doing that.